I'm here in Camp Life Bushcraft's pad. And this is, uh, this is where we're staying for the night, just over there. More about that later on. So we're just wandering back to the vehicle to get the hound. I'm very excited about that. But, uh, Tink has joined us, she's a lovely animal. But what a lucky guy having the permission for this with the stingy nettles. July 2018 and today I'm here with Dan where is he over there somewhere from uh, Camp Life Bushcraft and he's kindly invited me over to his permission woodland which is where I'm talking to you from now and uh, yeah he's incredibly lucky it's it's on a piece of land I'm not going to name exactly where it is for obvious reasons but uh, he knows the owner of the land and he's got this wonderful woodland he's got all of this to play in. So he's over there with Tink, who I'll introduce you to later on. My setup's there. His is going to be somewhere over here. And uh, we are going to probably have a fire tonight. We're pretty sensible. We've got lots of water. We've cleared a patch. And the, uh, the current UK weather is very, very dry. We've had no rain for a number of weeks, uh, longest on record for some time. So we need to be very careful, but we are seasoned wild campers, we are in a permission area and we are allowed to have a fire and we are very careful and there's lots of water etc around. So uh, just bear that in mind. So I'm gonna be a little bit quiet because Dan's just doing part of his video there and uh, I'll bring you in for a closer shot in a moment. But let's, uh, let's give you a little walk around some of these woods. I mean, it's just such an epic place. We have uh, fields all around us and there is one road right the way over there which is down quite deep so not really an issue um, Dan says no one's he's never ever seen anyone in here so it's a, it's a good place to come and what I'm looking for now is his oh look there it is right in front of me his permanent shelter which is utterly amazing check this out Oh hell yeah. <laughs> How awesome is this? Lovely bed area. You got lots of leaves and leaves, I say lots of leaves on the back there and general forest debris. Check that out. And it's really, it's quite hard to see it when, if you don't know it's there. When you're walking along, it really, really does blend in very, very well. So I've got to hand it to Dan. He's done an amazing job there. By his own admission on his videos, it's, uh, it's a first attempt. But I think he's done exceptionally well. And uh, yeah, credit to him. Got some sidewalls on there. And I'm sure over time he will adapt it. To the weather conditions, you know, winter, summer, etc. <coughs> How cool is that? I think that's epic. So we're not staying in there. Uh, obviously, it's only shelter for one plus a doggy. So, as I've already said, we're just down in that direction. Nicely tucked away in the corner of the woods, opening up onto a field. And this wood just goes on and on. It's, uh, it's lovely. Dan was pretty modest when he was describing it to me, saying that it's, it's quite a small woodland. And I suppose it is when you uh, look at places abroad with hundreds and hundreds of acres. This is small, but for the area that we both live in, this is palatial. <laughs> I mean, those of you who watch my channel, Camp Alpha, it's tiny. The actual bit that I have to, to use in there, this is just 
awesome that we could have camped in here, this bit as well, anywhere. I'm just going to take you on a little walk round. There's plenty of dead wood to use. All sorts of stages. There's piles of, uh, Dan was telling me, there's piles of oak that have been cut down, which we could take if we wanted, but it's just so much. So much wood to burn here. You, you'd be here a long time before it ever started to be difficult to locate wood to burn. It's just, it's just amazing. I'm, I'm kind of a bit lost for words. And apparently there's a badger set. I'm not sure whether that's it. I just heard something creep up behind me. It's Tink. Let's go back and introduce you to the girl. Tink, Tink. Let's see if I can find her for you. So let's take you back into our camp for tonight. So on tonight's agenda, Dan is attempting to make a chair. I'm attempting to have a few beers and something to eat and uh, just have general chit chat really, which these videos tend to be. There are local camps, so it's more about social aspects rather than you know planning anything super special. We'll save that for the, the videos where we go to Dartmoor or hopefully Brecon Beacons later on in the in the month. Next month I should say. So shall I take you around camp? Oh let me introduce you to Tink. Say hello Tink. Hi. Hello. Oh you're gonna bark at me now. Good girl. <laughs> this is Tink and she's five and she's a star of Camp Life Bushcraft. Good doggy. This is Dan. If you don't know him already, you need to check out his channel. Say hello, Dan. Hello. <laughs> I didn't say hello, Dan. No, you didn't say hello, Dan. I was expecting that. I know, I know. Chair's coming along nicely. We've got a, a good far concerned. pit here. I'm a bit concerned it's going to fall apart. Hello, Tink. You're a good dog. You want to bring the camera again? Here we go. You're not sure about this camera, are you? It's a funny one. So, no, it's coming along nicely. Very good. And uh, it's Dan's camera. I'm always interested in what other people use for their setups, camera-wise. So that's what he uses for Camp Life Bushcraft. Here's my setup. Same old thing, the DD hammock with the mattress inside and sleeping bag. Um, a buddy of mine gave me this, and my new buddy Mick. Hello, Mick, if you're watching. How cool is this? Look, hands-free wash. It's really good. The dog's been using it to drink from, which is fine. So yeah, right, I'm going to sit down and have a beer, I think. And uh, me and Tink are going to catch up. Aren't we, Tink? Hey? He's a good dog. Yes, you are. Can you give me a soulful look? Oh. oh. <laughs> this chair. Fingers crossed. Very gently. A lot of creaking. Just don't knock your beer over. Oh. We're in. Just don't move. A couple more beers, you'd be throwing yourself back yeah. on that chair. So there we go. My first ever. Pretty damn good, eh? Bush chair. And gentlemen, we do all like right. a bit of bush. All I need now is a Thai green curry. Check. And a sunset, there's one behind us, isn't there? So the fire is coming along nicely now. We're just going to be waiting for that to die down a little bit and then we can get our dinner on. Some Thai green curry tonight and some rice. You have a little bits and bobs and a few beers to go with it, so we're all hungry now. Looking forward to that. Tink's had her dinner, she's not too bad. Us boys are hungry. How's your hammock coming along? Yeah, not too bad. Getting there? That's looking all right. Tarps a little bit. Well, yeah, it's a work in progress.
portable camera. Mm -hmm. chatting to his camera. I don't think he had a very good night's sleep with the hammock. So um, it's good he tried my hammock before he we went and bought one. Saved himself a few quid. I had quite a good night's sleep. The uh, hammock with the climate mat again. I literally just chucked the sleeping bag over the top of me rather than getting inside of it. We used it like a blanket. And it was just just lovely. It got a little bit cold in the night and it was nice just to get a pull it up over me. I slept so so. Um, so this is the view. It's such a great woodland, it's really nice. I wish I had a longer, longer time this morning to mooch around, but unfortunately I've got family commitments. It's Dad's taxi this morning, I'll take the kids to various parties and things like that. So yeah, that's, that's what's got to be done. Right, time to get some breakfast on and uh, start the pack away. It's always the worst bit of the pack away, isn't it? Got that. Just going for the old Coleman this morning. Purely selfish reasons on my my side. And to wear a jacket is a little bit cold and I don't want to get all smoky. <laughs> but I gave Dan this flannel about oh, best not best not make a fire safety and first. safety first and we can't leave it while it's hot, da 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 da. And he bought it. <laughs> Look at this magnificent animal. Isn't she gorgeous? You're lovely, aren't you? Hey, eh? you are. <laughs> She's very cute. She's not sure about the camera gimbal, I think. It's a bit unusual. Oh, you're getting used to it. What did you say, Tink? <laughs> oh, dear. So, yes, morning at camp. Morning so where I slept, in the dirt. Yeah, that's that's what I actually got the camera out for, I forgot. So um, as I said earlier, Monsieur Dan didn't have a very nice evening in the, in the, uh, in the hammock. So he, uh, he went to ground and uh, slept with his lady. Isn't that right, madam? Hmm? <laughs> and they spooned. Hot water bottle, why not? Snuggle up. So the good old Coleman dual fuel. Never let me down yet. I've just come out of storage. I can't remember the last time we used it in one of the videos, so it's got to be at least six months I'd say, if not more. Bars up. Such a great bit of shit. you're thinking of a it is a heavyweight picker. Just one to get. Dan uh, said we're a pot thing just to boil up some water for porridge.
trying that. <laughs> All last night she's been trying. Oh. It's when you have your mouth open. <sighs> she gets you in there. Right. Dishwasher. Right, that's good. <laughs> I like it. Ready to go first. Coming up on the chair, I don't think it'll hold two of us. I don't think it will. I think we should try. I think you should try. Put faith in your work. <laughs> well, up you go, Tink. Good girl. <laughs> yes, you do, don't you? Got a little cushion and everything. Very nice. Yeah. yeah that's not creaky or moving or anything. No, slight, it's... There's a slight crunch. I think that's all the... These ones are a little rotten logs on the bottom. But no, it's, it's, it's lasted well. A whole night. A whole night. That should last, shouldn't it? Carry it, carry it to camp. Right. Little lid, you can have a lid. <coughs> Watch on there, girl. You can have a bit in a minute if that's okay with your owner. But yeah, give her the pot. She'll get a stuff have the in her nose. The end. You have the pot at the end, okay? <coughs> Good girl. You're just buttering me up for my breakfast, that's all it is. Does it smell nice? You can have a bit, you can have a little bit. Put a bit on there. My groin. Things, uh, things one another heart. Oh yeah. Just Even give it a minute, before okay? Before he's had any, it's a sure sign. Um, just give that a minute, okay? And then we'll try it. It's those soulful eyes staring yeah, at you. Chin and then rest it on your trousers. It's all right. I walk in the door, everything comes off into the washing machine. Yeah. Straight on. Mm. Yeah. Nice chilled out camp. Mm. Like to say to Rob's uh, Rob's viewers, he's a very nice man. Lent me his DD Frontline hammock, and I slept under it very well. <laughs> it wasn't for him. No. The sleep mat kept sliding up the sides. I couldn't get comfortable, and I finally got to sleep. And Tink decided she didn't like me in there and started. Pushing her snout in against me and whining, so I thought I'll just get on the floor. And that was that, and I slept like a baby after that. So, moral of the story: don't buy a hammock, or don't bring a dog. Try before you buy. Try before you buy. That's good because I, I really wanted one. I kept looking at the pictures. Mm. I see other people in them, and I think oh, I, I can't. That I want looks a good. Bit of that. Viewers also know that I, I always prefer a tent. <coughs> it's just easier. <coughs> Better night's sleep, easy to get in and out of. Mm. There's a few, uh, like we were saying, on, a, on the gradient, obviously, it's a lot better to have a hammock. Yeah. Like I 
Just the time you can get around that. I've got a um, <clears throat> I've, got, I've got a canvas. No, not canvas. Um, like a camp bed frame. Not no, I can't that's me. Not frame, but the, the canvasy part. Sure, right with, with this. Yeah, yeah. Can I think? With no frame. You can have that. Yeah. So that's another thing I can try. I'm going to build. Let me build a tripod at each end. Slide the sticks through and tie mm. them. If you um, if you ever get the urge to buy one of those sort of military type beds, I've got two of them at home. Have you? Yeah, you're welcome to try them. They're horrendous. Have they got? Has it got a, a frame and everything for mm, it? It's Cause, proper. Because mine's a, no, it's a the bushcraft version. No, no, no. Yours sounds much more fun, but. Um, if you were thinking about buying one, because mm. I did the whole Ooh, the pictures look nice and it looks cool and everything, mm. and it's like sleeping on a ruler because they're so narrow. Mm. I know I'm not the smallest of frames, but um, it isn't great. My brother-in-law, he's got one for him, one for his wife, and a bunk bed version for his kids. I've seen those. They they, they, is that the one that trap? You can sort of change it so it goes into like a settee. They I'm fold to the side, yeah. Sure. Some of them do that, it's pretty cool. How are we doing, Dink? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, you can have the rest of that going on. Yeah, yeah, on the floor. Sure. yeah sure. I was turning sure. it around. <laughs> look after the girl. She Under. protected us last night against all the bogey men. Under the thumb. Sucker. That's what it is. So we come to the end of our stay here in Dan's Woodland. And very nice it's been too, so thank you Dan for having me. And uh, thank you to Tink for joining us. We're just doing the last few minutes of tidying away. Uh, so that's where my hammock was. Just the stuff to take with us, a bit of rubbish and whatnot. Dan was there on the floor with his hammock above him, <laughs> Tink. <laughs> Our place was here. So the last job we've got to do is just uh, brush the leaf litter back over. It is a permission camp, as I said at the beginning of the video, but it's just the right thing to do to leave the place as you find it. There's nothing worse than coming into somewhere there's fast scars everywhere and uh, beer cans strewn about the place. You say goodbye, Tink. I think we'll meet again. What do you say? Maybe. Not that impressed with me, were you? <laughs> oh, what a good dog. It's your beak. Yeah, we're, we're good. Oh my goodness me. It's really light. This is lightweight camping. This is where you want to be, people. This way is all maybe four kilos. Yeah, it's the latest in ultralight technology. Oh. That's obviously not including water or food or anything else. See, you can hardly see it on my back. Are you amazed? Okay, so on the walk out now. Everything packed away, everything neat. The world's heaviest bag. Lurking somewhere behind me. There, there it goes. In a really good little overnighter. As always with these local overnighters, they're always sort of short and sweet. But hopefully, I'm going to be meeting up with John from Muddy Paws next month, and we're going to be heading up the Brecon Beacons. Dan might join us, he's uh, to be decided if he wants to come or not. But, uh, yeah, no doubt I'll make a video on that one and upload it when I get a moment. Thanks for having me, Dan. Thank you very much. Thanks for the curry.
gorgeous. Gorgeous, it was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah. Tink enjoyed a little bit as well, so she it's all good. She'll be feeling that later. <laughs> I think she's feeling it now. <laughs> she had it on cue. Oh, bless her. Oh, out into the sunshine. What an amazing place. Nice now, isn't it? Just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Wow. Very, very lucky to have such a wonderful place to visit. No one around. No one bothering you. You can do what you like. I'm not jealous at all.